How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review on the channel. As you can see today, it's the turn of the workhorse. It is Dirk Count, of course. That kind of rhymed, I didn't actually mean it to, but he had a great career spanning from Feyenoord to Utrecht to the Netherlands, where he made over 100 caps, and a great time at Liverpool, making over 200 appearances. His era has come to an end, hence this end of an era SPC, the premium one. And today we review the 90 rated SPC. So will it be worth it? Will it be worth like 60 to 80k, which for me is very, very cheap for a 90 rated card. We're going to see that today, lads. If you do enjoy, smash a like on the video straight away. Last night's late, late review of Francesco Totti, the support on it was sensational. So once again, thank you all for your support on that if you can bring the same hype to this one that would be very much appreciated and if you do want any cheap msp psn or even game codes head on over to gdoa.com use that code m89 every single link that you'll need is right there in the description below now i know what you're thinking about the team in the background we've got two pink cards in there I have the two pink cards because uh, they look good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, they look very good on this game. I like the pink colours because you don't normally get cards like the footies colours. So I know with the blues, you get like Team of the Year, Team of the Seasons, so all kind of the same kind of version of the blue. It's just a kind of different accent on the bottom. With the pink cards, they are very different. So in terms of who I would would have voted for, basically, I did them all. But my vote would have went to Smolin. It would have went to Smolin. And I hope Smolin does win. So the rest of the team, De Gea, Walker, we have the pink Smolin, the pink by Alexandro. We have Totti at center center mid. Like I said in the Totti review, I wanted to drop him back in midfield to see if he works. He definitely does, lads. He definitely does. And he dictates the place so damn much. Vieira's in there. We have Marquisio. We have El Sharawi, Jorgensen, and Dick Kout. So, lads. Let's get in the review. So as I kind of touched on just before, in terms of price with Dirk Kout, he is very, very cheap in my opinion. So props to EA for having such a cheap 90 rated SPC. 60 to 80 k is the price estimate on both the Xbox and the PlayStation. Right now he's hovering around the 70 k mark. So smack bang, right in the middle. He scored 10 in seven with one assist. So he already outscored Totti from a right forward position. He's a great goal scorer in this game. His long shots, just wait till you see the clips. Now the downsides with the card, I'm playing to see on the left hand side. Three star skills, the downside with any winger on this game because you want to trick your way past the bonus and the weak foot. Two star weak foot. That is shocking. High high work rates as well. But when you look at his mental and physical tributes, what comes with high high work rates? What do you need? You need good stamina. And with a workhorse like Dirk Out, he's got 99 stamina. So there's not going to be a situation like there was with Totty where he would kind of run out of steam by half time, the 70 minute mark. Between there and then, he scores all game long. No respite with 91 ball control, 94 crossing, 91 finishing, 89 long shots. Did you see the shot power? It's only 97. Wow, this card will score some bangers, and that will be demonstrated in the first clip where this was my first game. This is my first action with the count very early on in the game. I pass it to Vieira. I get the ball back, take a touch, and just let rip. What is strike right in the back of it? So the count is able to score some screamers on this game, and I'm not just talking about outside the area, inside the area. He's one of the most clinical right forwards in the game. I'm not just saying that because he did well for me. I mean, 10 and 7, it's not going to be sniffed at. He actually is a great goal scorer in this game. As he picks the ball up from deep, he runs and runs and runs. Eventually, he will win a free kick. It was a stonewall free kick. What I do with Vieira is pass it short to Kout. Kout goes back to Vieira, back to Kout. I line up the shot. It's golden. It's golden. Once you get it right with Dirk Kout, it is right all the time. You will score a vast amount of goals with this card. Now, one of the downsides with this card, of course, is that you got to bring Jorgensen in or someone like Toonstra, someone from Feyenoord to get that strong link. And then uh, I've got a legend in midfield, so I'm kind of cheating with the link. But you could have went like someone like uh, Cardstop, it right back. Someone like uh, Toonstra at centre mid. So you could have went the Feyenoord route with a lot of the different players. But like I said, it's quite hard to fit him in a team, especially ones competent enough for the foot champions as he gets the ball deep in the field, dances past the opponents. 
And this guy, he's got a turn of pace. Now, you might have looked at his card stats and seen the acceleration because the acceleration isn't great. I'm not going to lie, it's not great. And you would have seen the sprint speed as well, r roughly around 85. And what you would have thought is, he's not going to be fast. He's definitely not going to be fast enough for foot jams. He's not going to be fast enough in general. What I'll give to you is that this card is very bloody fast from time to time. Once he hits that top speed, he's gone. He's gone. I played against the likes of Team of the Season, Sandro, Alexandro at left back. Dirk Cat would leave him in dust. Honestly, he was very, very good and very pacey once he does hit that top speed. But like I said, the acceleration is a con because it takes him quite a while to kind of build up and hit that top speed in terms of the best starts. You've got the stamina, of course, 99. You've got the shot power, 97. And you've got the finishing as well of 91. I'm not too sure I've got finisher there. But you get the idea. His finishing is 91. It's just great about the card because he can score in a multitude of different ways. The long shots, which are great. He can score finesse shots well not cutting in on the left foot because as you would have seen it's two star weak for the left foot of his is truly garbage but once he gets in these situations there's only one outcome if you shoot across the keeper it's going in the back of the net a crack and finish there from the cow the worst stats with this card you've got the acceleration of 78 you have the balance of 75 it's not great with the card when you look at the pros we have his finishing we have his long shots we spoke about that the stamina with this card sets him aside from a lot of the premium SBCs because with the premium SBCs, you look at Torres, I don't think his stamina is very good. You look at uh, Francesco Totti, his stamina is definitely not good. You look at this card, it's only bloody 99, it's great about the card and you can go all game long from minute 1 to minute 90 to minute 120, it wouldn't matter with this card and he is very, very versatile. Now, what I've had a lot of kind of questions about is will Dirk Cal be useful in a central position? Whether that be CM on off the bench, whether that be Cam on off the bench, or whether that be striker. Yes, 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 this guy would work very well in the middle of the park due to the work rates, high highs. He gets about, he defends well, he attacks well. Sometimes on the counter attacks, he does get caught out due to the high defensive work rate. But like I said, he is quite nippy and will catch up the counter attacks. And if he does get in the area, he's going to score. He will score. Send him in, he'll do a very good job. He'd work very hard for the team. I think his stand tackle and side tackle weren't actually too bad for a right forward or right mid or right wing, wherever you want to play him. He'd do very well in the center of the park. I can, I'm not too sure. I can. He'd do a good job, but he'd crack long shots. He'd crack long shots, and that's what you want from the card. At striker, he'd be bloody brilliant. I've got no doubts about that, that he would be brilliant at striker. Now, the cons with the card, and there is quite a few. We have the three star skills. Now, as a winger on this game, you want to cut inside, you want to skill pass players. Now, not just any old skill, you want to use effective skills. With the count, he's got three star. You can do the roulette. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it. Honestly, with three star skills for a winger, it's not very good. Hence, why you do see a lot of the wingers on this game have at least four star skills as he bangs on off the post. And I've got to say, he hit the post so many times as well. He scored 10, going on 10 hundred. He scored so many good shots. And then, with so many shots, he hit the bloody post, which is very unfortunate about the guard. But like I said, his finishing is great. Once he does get in the right situation to score, he will score some of the kind of shots where it does hit the post from outside the area, the kind of speculative shots, like this one will probably be a speculative shot in the background as well. Toddy on the ball, out to Dirk Cowd. What's he going to do? He's going to bang it from there, off the post. Very, very unfortunate. So, when you look at the worst stats, when you look at the best stats, you kind of compare them. Acceleration balance can be upped by a chem style, which engine it is the kind of perfect one to do both of them with. When you look at the cons of two-star weak foot, it's not great. It's not great. And it will let the card down massively because, as you know in this game, weak foot is sometimes more important than skills. And I will say this, weak foot is, uh, for me, more important than skills. Acceleration, not great. Balance, not great. But this card, for me, was very bloody good. Very good. And he surprised me because I got this dirt count and I thought, you know what? He's going to be shit. I won't like the card. I don't want to review him. I don't want to give kind of too bad a review. I've done it in the past where I've ripped through players like Torban, for example. Dirt count pleasantly surprised me massively. So, in terms of an overall rating, he's going to get the same rating as Totti, an 8.6. But like I said, I rank players in different positions. So, for a winger on this game, 8.6 is very, very good. Value for coins, 
9.0. You can't go wrong for 60 to 80k. 70k right now, you can't go wrong in the slightest. And when it comes to kind of foot champs, is he ready for it? He is ready, but you've got to kind of keep in mind, do I use Jorgensen? Do I use Toonstra? Do I use Cardstrop? Are those players ready? You've got to kind of ask yourselves those questions. In terms of playing them in seasons, uh, this is kind of card I'd play in seasons because it's an enjoyable card and he will score some amazing goals for you like you see in this review and the similar players we have the likes of Muller, Kandreva and De Bruyne I know some of them have four star skills I know some of them have more pace but they are very similar in certain aspects of their style of play so that's going to be it for this review lads I hope you have enjoyed the next batch of reviews will be coming out for the footies winners and maybe on Monday I think I'll do kind of winning the foot birthday prize which is the prize on Monday for the Dilly knockout tournament and tomorrow is Fator, the final one of the squad building process before the knockout so like i said lads at the very start smash the hell out of that thumbs up button your support on this series on this channel is so damn important so once again bring the hype smash that thumbs up subscribe if you are new around here and as always lads i will catch you all next time